Good morning, everyone, whether you are here in the building or at home in various stages of wakefulness. So we begin our prayer this morning in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We listen to a reading from the Gospel of St. Mark. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. Jesus told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wonderful deeds. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. St. John Bosco, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. We say together, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's right, none of you are in the building today. Everyone is home on Wednesday, January the 13th, and we're back to day one in the schedule. On this day, January the 13th, 1999, the person who was arguably the best basketball player in the history of the sport, Michael Jordan, retired for the second time. Now, you may think that other people, LeBron or other people, are or have been better players than he, uh, but there are plenty of people who watch Michael Jordan play who would say that he was the greatest of all time. He retired first around 1994, and he actually tried his hand at baseball for a while. But after a season or two playing for Birmingham, he decided that baseball was not for him, and he went back to the Bulls. And for the next three years, 96, 97, 98, the Bulls won the NBA championship. And he retired at the top of his game in 1999. We know that Michael Jordan had a storied career. We know that uh, he made the Bulls famous. What we sometimes forget, but you probably know if you know the story of Michael Jordan, that when he was a sophomore in high school, he was cut from his high school basketball team. His coach did not see any potential in him. We know how the rest of the story goes, and I'm sure his coach and his, that coaching staff he either had a good laugh or were really mightily embarrassed as Michael Jordan made it in the big time. But I think it's important to remember that sometimes we find ourselves cut short. We may be cut from a team. We may have failed a course. We may have failed an exam. That is never the end of the world. It may sting for a bit, but that's not the end. It is important that we pick ourselves up and try again. If Michael Jordan had let that defeat as a sophomore rule his life, he never would have brought uh, joy and excitement to millions of people who watched him over his years in the NBA. So let us remember that we are not made either by one victory or one defeat. It's how we live our lives day after day with all the little successes and all the little defeats that come our way. Not to get so excited when we win and not to get so dejected when we lose, but to continue faithfully each day. Have a good day. Good morning, I'm George. Please pay attention to the following announcements. Sports broadcasting will meet after school today on Zoom at four today due to a meeting after school. 
Some topics to be discussed will include how the Knicks had a winning record for two days, how the Mets may be incarcerated for stealing from Cleveland, how Buffalo is technically the only New York team in the playoffs, but everyone knows that it's really part of Canada, and more. If you're interested in joining, please contact Mr. Dwyer at kdwyer at salesianhigh.org. We hope you see you there. Grigio is holding its first ever writing competition to keep the winter blues at bay. To enter, students must write a story, poem, or creative essay on a seasonal topic developed by the Grigio staff. For more details on the prompt and rules of entry, please see the Grigio section of the extracurricular page under the Students tab on Salesian High School's website. Submissions should be emailed to Mr. Marinaccio at amarinaccio at salesianhigh.org no later than January 25, 2021. Though all submissions will be published, the winner will receive a lavish prize befitting any aspiring writer. We hope to see your submission soon. All right, guys. I know no one's watching today, but for you select few who are, I want you to go to every class and not stop talking about how great the skit was on AM Salesian today. Every second you have to bring it up, bring it up. Talk about it being the funniest thing you've ever seen, and you need everybody to watch it. Thank you. Have a profound day, and it's a great day to be an eagle. <laughs>